Hey everyone today we would like to present you the brick house a single story holiday home located at the edge of new delhi occupying the plot area of 72000 square feet this home achieves luxury through spaces movement and light various brick patterns characterize the home into open semi open and covered spaces if you want to know more about this project story click on the link mentioned in the description below It will take you to our website buildofi.com where you can become a member and download full PDF ebook including the detailed floor plans section elevation with dimensions and material palette you can download 250 plus PDF ebooks of the houses pan india our members also get to watch a full length film where the architects walks us through the home explaining the spaces and other important details till then i hope you enjoy this video when the clients came to us and they said they want to build a farmhouse we had a conversation saying listen what does a farmhouse mean farmhouse actually means something which is going back to the land going back to the basics and i think that was the genesis of the material choice the material choice is very very conscious to keep it like really really simple yeah yeah that that's that's absolutely right So this project is located on a plot of land maybe about I want to say about 6 and a half thousand square meters. It's in New Delhi just outside the city limits. It's a single story structure, it's a residence. It's predominantly built in brick. The clients uh, were a young couple with you know two young children. However, this is like a holiday home for them or a second home. This was a very interesting site for us. It's sort of located in reasonable proximity to a runway. Adjoining that is a very broad road with fast moving traffic, large plots of land with semi institutional or large residential work there. And then behind it was a small road. And this road couldn't be more than about 10 feet or about 3 meters odd in width. and then behind it once again there were other plots of land not so large and our site was on one of those plots of land interestingly most clients approach us with a set of functional requirements of course our job is to ensure that the, that those requirements are met but it's also equally our job to infuse within it a, a poetic sense in that to frame and create a, a spatial experience the sequence of movement in the house is also very important so it's not like okay it needs to be a four bedder house so let's make a block and add those four rooms for us the sequence of movement within and outside the project was i think very important So the house plan is very simple. One block is a square. The second block is a rectangle and somewhere within it is a circle. And the circle then became a sort of a recurring motif in various parts of the project. The square became a bit large, so it was necessary to sort of insert a courtyard in the middle just to get a little bit of light and air into it. One enters the project from here, from the north side. Yeah, there's a driveway, and then there's a large sort of entrance court that comes out here, where one parks one's car, and one walks down into the two entrance courts: the entrance court and the circular court. This is the entrance of the project. Um, as you can see, it's defined by a brick wall that's perforated and a large sort of um, entrance that comes in. I always call it the dwar. Yes, <laughs> and this and, and and this sort of finish and framing is something you'll see elsewhere in the, in the project as well, in the manner in which the windows have been framed or, or boxed out to accentuate them. So you enter from one court, which is the entrance court where Lakshmi is standing on the on the grape bajri, and then you go into the circular court, and it sets up a sequence of anticipation of discovering spaces. 
and the fact that we've used two different colors of bajris is just a little element of detail saying that look that was the outer court and then you come into the inner court so these are just small nuances in the building that we wanted to just uh, you know highlight it to you guys everything to the north which is on this side is the greater public spaces here what I'm outlining here is the living dining room sequence with a courtyard that's inserted in it to sort of segregate the two and so some light and air can come in. And everything to the south of it, which is what I'm outlining here, is then a bedroom, a family room and another bedroom with of course there, toilet and wardrobes. And of course there's the kitchen. The second block is, is long and narrow, it's rectilinear and on two ends of the rectangle, which is one is out here and the other out here, are two bedrooms and there's a family room in the middle. What this sets up is a cross axis, goes through the building like that and another one that comes through the building like that. So we're standing here in, uh, in what functionally would be called the foyer but more, uh, more importantly it's a very potent uh, location because it, it acts like the fulcrum of the project. You see multiple perspectives going down out here which is of the courtyard, part of the living room, the deck and then the garden on that side and similarly in front of me you see the trellis court, a family room and then a garden beyond. And this sort of in a, in a way sums up the project. It's something that has great um, spatial complexity, but at the same time a lot of perceptual clarity. The reason we chose terrazzo tiles uh, is because terrazzo is basically cement based, right? And, and then this pattern is also, it's a cement tile. It's basically one of those primary materials. And then we carry the same uh, idea of the brick from the outside to the inside, but here we painted it. The two blocks, as you can see, are pulled together through a trellised courtyard. The swimming pool on the northwestern side sort of lets the, the air come in and the pump room is sort of angled as a sort of a garden folly in that. It was again a conversation in which we said that we want ornamentation to be dynamic and not ornamentation in terms of what is slapping a lot of stone and things like that, but more the play of shadow uh, so that you know when you're coming in the day or when you're there in the afternoon or in the late evening, the house changes. The material palette was so simple that this is how we wanted to add the complexity in the project. The metal grill actually accentuates the shadows, makes the space more dynamic. What has really, you know, really worked out for us are these circles. I love the way the tree actually really goes through it and, you know, and yet it makes the entire space more cohesive. In this project, there may be five or six different types of, uh, of brick bonds. They respond to different conditions, different locations, different um, directions of it. But by and large, the bonding technique is intrinsic to the construction of the wall. Because of the shape of the buildings and the distance between them, you always find places of sun, of part shade and total shade. So the obvious thing is that you do want to give them a huge chunk of green. At the same time, we didn't want it to feel as if there's this block of built mass and then there's this chunk of green. And so hence, all the smaller courtyards, we designed them consciously because we wanted the green to be an intrinsic part of the house as well. So it wasn't just block and green. Hot air over the pool comes in, enters the courtyard, goes up, and you know, you have that sort of passive cooling effect. There's a lot of cross ventilation that, that also happens. This was a very interesting project for the firm RLDA and for Lakshmi and me too. A lot of the core issues that we tackle in the studio sort of found themselves being articulated here. And those had to do with materiality, taking a very simple basic material such as, such as a brick, something that's rooted in its spatiality. The project is luxurious in the quality of light, the quality of space. Those were things that sort of really pulled the project together for us.